Sabor de Cuba. The key to this song is developing a picking dexterity that allows you to move between strings, either in an alternate picking manner, meaning down, up, down, up, down, up as you go across the strings, or in some other picking pattern. Uh, maybe that's up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Just something that allows you to play these arpeggios in a comfortable, systematic manner. So outside of just shedding the parts, you can do some picking and fretting exercises. So here's one example. You might be familiar with this picking exercise, which is both good for your right hand, doing alternate picking, and then for your left hand, one finger per fret, just going up the fretboard and across the neck. Right? And shift it up a fret. And then up a fret. The goal is to keep the fingers as close to the fretboard as possible um, for economy of motion and efficiency and in a steady time with a metronome. Now we can take that exercise and adapt it to the movements that we do in Sabor de Cuba. So, same idea, one finger per fret, only for each fret, we're gonna do a different string. So we're gonna come across the strings for each note. exercises you want to do it with a metronome so here's an example metronomes at 120 anytime you're doing an exercise like this you want to start with the metronome slow and get good time and a good sound and once you're comfortable and you get a consistent good time and consistent good sound then you just crank that metronome up until you're moving in time
152. 